hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today i am discussing basically the new uh, look of the zorin os 16 so it is now finally released zorin os 16 this is based on ubuntu 20.04.3 okay so pretty much uh, you can say some a uh, lot of time uh, uh, <laughs> late uh, this uh, uh, distribution is released but but it uh, it uh, do the justice because lot of new features also introduced uh, in this uh, uh, version of the zorin os so let's start the video so before doing that uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe my channel for latest updates and of course check my playlist Okay, so you can see this is the brand new look of the Zorin OS. I am running a live uh, system that means uh, live Zorin OS system and you can see this is the Zorin menu and uh, you can you can click here and you can see the uh, traditional uh, menu you can uh, see here. Okay, so first of all some uh, changes uh, you have to understand what the Zorin OS uh, the new version 16 is. So basically uh, uh, in pro version okay th uh, there are uh, many lot of improvements in the pro version such as such as journal uh, uh, plus plus uh, software for making notes and tutorials and also uh, some a, a windows 11 like uh, uh, desktop environment there but here you can see in zorin appearance you can see uh, okay i'm showing you uh, four uh, four uh, looks uh, you you can get okay this is the default look uh, which i'm using and uh, this look you can see uh, okay i'm click here and you can see this is uh, this type of look is here okay and if you uh, click uh, this is specially for the uh, touch uh, laptop touch uh, laptop touch screen laptops touch screen uh, desktops and you can see uh, this is the uh, touch uh, layout okay so this is very cool okay and this is also a uh, default uh, uh, gnome layout you, you can see this uh, this is the dock and this is the uh, gnome um, okay uh, gnome shell and so and you can see that uh, in zorin os pro okay now zorin ultimate is uh, renamed as zorin os pro and you you uh, can access there this is called uh, windows 11 like uh, 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 desktop environment okay so you can check it out in zorin os pro that, uh, that is paid and i am here using the zorin os free version that is zorin os core version okay it is completely free to download now first i am telling you that uh, from where uh, you have to download the uh, zorin os so i am telling you that uh, of course uh, you uh, first uh, you go to the blog of uh, where zorin os is released you can see this is the blog and you you can you can install uh, you can download the zorin os from its uh, official um, website but i will recommend that uh, rec uh, download it from the bittorrent client i am i am saying you just uh, search in uh, google or whatever just uh, fast torrents okay just uh, search fast torrents and okay now you can see here you, you can click zorin os or you just uh, click here and go to the website I'm telling you uh, uh, why this is uh, uh, beneficial for you. You can see this is the uh, Zorin OS distribution. So click here and here you can see. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is new. This is Zorin OS 16 core. Download, uh, download this torrent and uh, uh, by any torrent client, you can uh, download the uh, whole Zorin OS core because uh, torrent downloads is much faster than the official uh, download from the Zorin main website. Okay, and also you can download the total uh, almost uh, uh, three gigs of uh, uh, three gigs of file in multiple sessions or multiple days. So it is uh, the freedom you you will get. Okay, so download from here this this torrent file. Okay, download from uh, download in BitTorrent mode. Okay, now you can see what changes uh, I have seen. Now see the new look, very much uh, very much impressive new look here. Uh, new look is here in the Zorin OS 16. You can see I am opening the file manager and you can see. And you can see this is very cool. Uh, all, all the uh, polished uh, desktop environment and uh, edges, edges are very smooth and you can see this is the very much new look, new icons. Okay, pretty much cool. And uh, in Zorin settings, you can modify all of these. So first of all, uh, go to the blog. I'm, I'm just uh, telling you. These are some wallpapers you can see. Now the blur effect in the background as in Windows 10. Okay, this is introduced and faster performance. Okay, and uh, you can see. 
क्विक लॉन्च है ओके द द मेन थिंग ऑफ जोरी नॉइज इज इज इट इज प्रिटी मच फास्टर देन एनी हार्डवेयर इफ यू हैव द लो रिसोर्स ऑफ हार्डवेयर देन ऑल्सो यू कैन डाउनलोड द जोरी नॉइज लाइट और इवन जोरी नॉइज कोर इट इज प्रिटी मच फास्टर देन अदर गिनोम बेस्ड डेस्क टॉप यू कैन सी अदर डिस्ट्रोज and also touch uh, touch gesture uh, here introduced in the zori noise 16 you can see so basically the speed speed is very uh, pretty much well in the zori in os in, in uh, compared to the many ubuntu like uh, ubuntu based distributions and you can see in the software center now uh, you you can uh, choose between the uh, snap store or flat hub or the official uh, zori in os uh, repositories okay i'm showing you later okay first of all just uh, look at uh, this some um, and new sound recorder apps uh, is included here and uh, tax bar icons is um, more informative and you can see this is the zorin appearance okay and this is uh, windows 11 like layout this is uh, very popular nowadays because windows 11 is releasing now so this is pretty much clone of the windows 11 okay and this you can see in the zorin os pro version which is paid okay and jelly mode what is jelly mode look uh, this is jelly mode i am showing you uh, how it is okay so that's all now i'm showing you the uh, uh, re in real hardware okay i'm using uh, this um, hardware okay so first of all uh, which which software is included you can see in accessories you can see file maps and whether these are included and in games uh, this is some games and you can see in the um, uh, graphics section uh, gimp is installed pre installed here and uh, libreoffice draw photos okay uh, all this you can see and uh, internet uh, firefox web browser default and remina uh, desktop client in office all the libre office suite uh, you can see here and uh, okay i'm cl clicking here uh, first libre office writer i'm clicking here uh, and see the uh, version number of the libre office the pretty much uh, latest version uh, here it is uh, used uh, uh, above the 7 7 uh, point something and you can see here uh, just wait a minute Okay, so you can see this is the 7.1 version, 7.1 here uh, of the uh, LibreOffice, so pretty much uh, useful and latest feature you will get from these uh, softwares, right? And now see in the office, okay, it is uh, done. Now you can see in sound and videos, cheese. The this is the webcam viewer and Brasero. This is the uh, CD burner, PTB um, uh, video editor, rhythm box, music music uh, player, sound recorder. This is introduced uh, new in the in this um, version, and videos to play with the videos. VLC player is also included. In, you can see, but one thing uh, you have to install the codec uh, from the Zorin OS software center to play the video. Okay, and Voco screen. This is I have installed, not uh, pre-installed uh, to record this video. okay right now now go to the zorin appearance okay now zorin appearance you can see uh, now you can change the theme okay this theme is uh, basically the combination of icons and uh, also gtk themes so now now you can see this is uh, blue blue theme you can see okay and if i change it to red okay by clicking this okay now you can see all the uh, all the gtk themes and icons are also uh, changed to red color okay so pretty much uh, uniform you can you can uh, understand and this is also some reddish color you can see here okay so uh, pretty much uniform and awesome this it looks awesome uh, of course and this is the uh, this is the background now and this is the zorin os now here this is the day night in day it is uh, of course uh, bright color and in uh, dark uh, sorry in night it is dark color and if uh, you click here then it will uh, <laughs> come to the dark mode okay so i am now switching to the light mode right okay so this is uh, these all are themes and interface you can see these are title bar buttons you can uh, switch from left to right this is right and you can switch to left so here uh, you can left side and this is right side okay and jelly mode jelly mode if you on if you turn on this then you can see the win the wobby windows will activate and if you minimize any window okay it is uh, pretty much uh, well okay it looks great okay so if you minimize okay minimize this see how nice effect is this okay so this is the basically this is the jelly mode and uh, you can see 
a uh, lot of other uh, settings you can uh, access from here okay taskbar settings uh, and desktop okay desktop icons and fonts okay lots of things now this is the this is the taskbar right click here and taskbar settings here you can see uh, you can uh, I, I, the size of the icons can be adjusted by this so i am doing this and you can see some the icons uh, have uh, smaller size okay you can you can adjust it uh, properly intel hide you can see <coughs> so it will hide intel hide intelligent hide and and lot of other things you can do now position of the dock you can change it uh, very well okay first of all uh, change it to the default setting here okay now position of the dock here it is the bottom you can uh, set at uh, top like click, clicking here you can see this is the top bar and left now this is this uh, looks like unity or uh, default ubuntu like uh, uh, <coughs> distribution you can see in the left side okay now uh, okay so you can adjust it uh, uh, as a, your preference now okay so now now you can see uh, this is pretty much uh, uh, constant uh, layout here and <coughs> also some uh, improvements in uh, uh, different um, uh, latest version of the softwares now i'm 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 telling you uh, first open up uh, terminal first and here i'm typing u name hyphen a so okay so here, here it is uh, not uh, installed here okay uh, okay okay so basically the the gnome version is here a uh, 3.38 okay maximum case uh, and some but some uh, softwares um, which have uh, version 3.36 is included here now i am showing the software center very much uh, pretty much uh, uh, good software center you can see a uh, lot of softwares are uh, there and uh, you can see here all the things okay one minute these are these are massive software center included in here the uh, zorin os okay you can see this is the editor specs editor's choice this is recent and this is recommended uh, uh, audio video graphics and cate now category wise you can okay so first of all one thing i'm telling you that um, to play any video you have to just uh, go to add-ons and here you have to install this uh, plugin multimedia codec then you will be able to play the video okay not a big deal okay not a big deal and uh, now i'm showing you that uh, something i am showing you now first of all uh, search here as a uh, some uh, suppose obs studio i am searching this software now you will see that uh, this software can be installed from multiple repositories okay so this is basically obs studio i am clicking here and you can see here source so it is it is available in the flat hub and it is available uh, in the zorin os uh, that is Zorin OS own official repository. So if you go uh, downward, then you will see that in Flat Hub it is 1.2 gigabytes. You have to download 1.2 gigabytes of file to install the software. And the version is version is you can see the version is 27.0. Okay, so this is the latest version. In Flat Hub you have to download the uh, um, very large file size because all the dependencies are included here but you will get the latest software so this is the benefit but in the uh, sorry in the main zorin os repository you can see this is the, this you have to only download 1.6 mb okay because all other things are already pre-installed here but the uh, version number you will get something lower 25.0.3 so you will get some lower version okay some old version so that's uh, you can choose whatever you want from here so one software can be downloaded from multiple sources if they are available in multiple sources so this software center is great i'm telling you really great and lot of uh, other improvements uh, are done in the zorin os and you, I, I can uh, change the background here and you will see uh, different uh, very cool uh, desktop wallpapers are there you can see these are very much uh, cool wallpapers okay so i'm changing one wallpaper here and it is changing very fast okay now looks pretty cool and nice 
so that's all for uh, today and uh, of course uh, uh, if you are new to the linux uh, you are switching from the windows or mac whatever so it is the best distribution for you to start with because it is very easy to use very very easy to use and it is much faster in any hardware uh, in low configuration i um, i have uh, I am using the Zorin OS um, almost uh, <coughs> above uh, one year and two years and I am uh, noticing that uh, it is really really fast uh, performing and uh, bug free you can say. So that's all for today. Uh, see you in the next tutorial or next uh, review of some uh, operating system. So till then good.